Okay, so we all know that George Floyd died on May 25th, 2020, and there's kind of a connection here I want to make with one of Donald Trump's previous rallies that he held. And if you see here, May 25th is the 100, 146th day in the year in leap years, but it's also the day that leaves 220 days. So it's this 220 number that I want to talk a little bit about. And also we know that 146 could be like written backwards 614, like Donald Trump's birthday, June 14th. But talking about 220, Donald Trump held a rally in Colorado Springs on February 20th, 2020. So which looks like the date February 20th, 2 slash 20. And here's just the description here to show that it was held on that day. But there's something that really stands out and makes me feel like there's a connection between um, George Floyd and this Colorado Springs rally, maybe even a little bit of a foreshadowing connection. But here I wanted to show this clip. It's not very long and it's kind of just like a summary of his speech that he gave. And I'll just let you take a listen to what he has to say. And I don't know if anybody watched last night's debate. It got very big ratings. And you know what? Mini Mike didn't do well last night. I was going to send him a note saying, it's not easy doing what I do, is it? Not easy. It's not easy, Mike. Not easy for any of them. Now, Mike didn't do too well. He went way down. It's all right. Mini Mike. How about Klobuchar? Did you see her? She choked. She choked. She choked. She couldn't breathe. Alfred E. Newman looked at her and said, something slightly derogatory. And she said, are you accusing me of being dumb? Who would make a statement like that? <laughs> he had the lowest ratings and now Cavuto took his place, so that's okay. But she was trying, look, Bloomberg made a fool out of himself last night. He choked. He's another one who's going, ah, oh, 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 I can't breathe. I can't breathe. Don't ask me the question, please. I look at my wife, I said, let's send them a little note. It's not so easy up there to do what I did, right? Okay, so I'm sure you guys heard the, two, the, the quotes that he kept saying, I can't breathe or she couldn't breathe in regards to Mike Bloomberg and Amy Klobuchar. So, I mean, I found that all really like, wow, just for those words to come out of his mouth, just how many months before this death of George Floyd, and that's kind of the new saying, because that's what he was last known to say, was I can't breathe. And I'll get to some connections with Klobuchar and Bloomberg in a second, but then also I wanted to point out that February 20th, the date of this rally to June 14th, which is Trump's upcoming birthday, was 115 days later. Colorado Springs, Colorado equals 115 and killing of George Floyd equals 115. And if you look on Wikipedia, that's how they have it named, killing of George Floyd. And then also we know Masonic equals 115. And in this rally, Trump walked out to the song by Guns N' Roses called Sweet Child O' Mine. And I just noticed that there is a connection, two out of the four cipher match with Guns N' Roses and George Floyd the 119s and 43s. And then talking about Bloomberg, his birthday is on February 14th, which can be written 14 slash two. And Floyd actually died 142 days before his upcoming birthday from the death date, May 25th to his birthday, October 14th was 142 days. And another thing I noticed was well, when you write out 42, you know, the number that's stamped all over Black history, 42 equals 142. 
in February 20th had date numerology of 42. When you take 2 plus 20 plus 20, that equals 42. And then also another way of connecting George Floyd and Bloomberg is their full names. George Perry Floyd, 102, and Michael Rubens Bloomberg, 102. Again, 102 being another number with saying the N-word equals 102 and slavery 102. So I just found that pretty interesting just to have these connections with each other and to see that that's who Trump was saying couldn't breathe and along with Klobuchar. And another thing just to point out that I noticed was February 20th to April 4th was 44 days away or one month and 15 days like 115 again but 44 stands out because April 4th 4 slash 4 was MLK's anniversary death date and so that's just one thing to note and then obviously Minnesota's coordinates are 44 degrees north and there's that 93 which we've been talking a lot about 93 in all this um, this topic lately and kind of another 44 is when you write make America great again it equals 404 minus the zero it looks like 44 and then the 134 is here because whenever you run February 20th to the day that Floyd died May 25th it was 13 weeks and four days apart so I mean to me that all kind of just made a lot of sense and it's just wild to see Trump doing that you know that mockery but and then talking about Amy her birthday is on May 25th the day that George Floyd died and we know that she's the senator of Minnesota and she's had some history with the shooter Derek Chauvin who actually um, not the shooter the, the guy who nailed on him sorry uh, and killed him Derek Chauvin and they have history going back to 2006 where it on October 29th I guess and he was a he was one of the officers that was involved in a shooting that killed Wayne Rays and so there was this whole issue but um, nothing ever happened to Derek Chauvin I guess which is pretty absurd but looking at just their history real fast I mean I didn't look at this very long but just seeing that October 29th the day that this happened in 2006 was the day that left 63 days left in the year racism equals 63 raise the guy who got killed equals 63 and he was of the Leech Lake Obitry tribe and that equals 63 as well again like Native American 63 so just another play on racism in that 63 and also it was said that he was shot 23 times in his first name Wayne equals 23 so just more I mean this is wild how they have this all to the T with the numbers right but this video, I mostly just wanted to point out the rally and how Trump did this whole thing. And I'll leave the link to his actual full speech. It's, oh, I think it's like an hour and 58 minutes long or something. Of course, I think that's Donald Trump's, Donald Trump equals 158 or something like that. So, but yeah, that's all I had for this one. And I don't know, this is pretty wild. So definitely the 220 days left in the year of May 25th is what helped connect all this with Colorado Springs. All right, we'll see you.